15 finally in the books, and now it's week 16 here, and it's time to mention some waiver wire options at wide receiver. So right now, with time of recording this video, no one's hurt, no one's on the COVID list. Obviously, things change, but right now they're good to go as far as I'm con as far as I know here. So the first wide receiver I look to get on the wire this week's um, I'm Ross St. Brown of the Detroit Lions. So St. Brown last week he was a good pickup for fantasy owners, and he could have been a one week fluke, but he definitely came back with another big game with St. Brown in week 15 versus Arizona. So the last few weeks here for him, he's definitely producing and putting up numbers. Week 13 versus Minnesota, one carry, two yards, 10 catches, 86 yards, a touchdown. Week 14 at Denver, eight catches, 73 yards. And week 15 versus Arizona, eight catches, 90 yards, a touchdown, and one carry for five yards. So week 16, a great matchup at the Atlanta Falcons. That pretty much can't stop anyone on defense. They give up the third most fantasy points to wide receivers on the season. The only thing here, Jared Goff, he might not play. He's sick as well on the safety and protocol list here. So if Goff don't play, his value might take a hit. But you still go out there and pick him. I'm not saying go out there and start him. But right now, you definitely should go out there and get him on your wire. And he's available right now in 79, in 69% of fantasy weeks. The next wide receiver is Russell Gage of the Atlanta Falcons. So Russell Gage, over the last month of the season, he's really come out of nowhere and emerged as that number one guy over there in Atlanta. Calvin Ridley, I don't think he's coming back this season. There's no reason for him. Atlanta's pretty much out of the playoff race after that loss to the San Francisco 49ers. So the last few weeks here for Ridley, week 13 versus Tampa Bay, a big ball game for him in this one. 11 catches, 130 yards, a fumble loss. Week 14 at Carolina, four catches, 64 yards. And week 15 at San Francisco, eight catches, 91 yards, and a touchdown. So week 16, a great matchup here for Russell Gage versus the Detroit Lions that give up the 19th most fantasy points to wide receivers, and they really can't stop anyone, even in that Cardinal game where they held them down for the most part. We saw Christian Kirk have a big game. We saw A.J. Green have a serviceable game, and this game here is two pretty bad teams going at it, so I could see Russell Gage once again have anywhere from 80 or 90 yards in this one, but anyway, he's a good pickup, and he's available in 50% of fantasy weeks. The next wide receiver was staying in the same game. And it's another Detroit Lion receiver, Josh Reynolds of the Lions. So Reynolds, former Los Angeles Ram, he went to Tennessee in the offseason. That didn't work out, which Tennessee obviously could use receivers now with the injuries they have. But right now, he went to Detroit, and he's had a few decent games. Week 13 versus Minnesota, four catches, 69 yards. Week 14 at Denver, three catches, 52 yards. And week 15 versus Arizona, six catches, 68 yards. And a touchdown. So week 16, we don't know if Goff's playing. He's on the protocol list here. But the Falcons give up the third most fantasy points to wide receivers. So Reynolds, he might be a sneaky start in deeper leagues here. But right now, as far as a waiver wire pickup, it's a good pickup. And he's available in 90% of fantasy weeks. And the week's Marquez Callaway. Of the New Orleans Saints. So Marquez Callaway, it's been an up and down season. Obviously, he's going to be inconsistent with Taysom Hill, a quarterback. But he finally had a good ball game as Callaway. And he's definitely a good deep ball threat as well here for the same team, especially with Deontay Harris out for suspension. So the last few games here for Callaway, Week 13 versus the Dallas Cowboys, one catch, 13 yards. Week 14 at the New York Jets, two catches, 34 yards. And Week 15 at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, six catches, and 112 yards. So he's got a great matchup in week 16 versus the Dolphins on Monday Night Football. But right now, as far as a pickup, he's definitely worth the guy to at least stash on your bench. And if you're in a pinch at wide receiver, if you or you got a lot of guys out, which could happen any time now, just the way things have been going over the last two weeks here, he's available in 75% of fantasy leagues. And he's got a great matchup in week 16. So right here with the lack of receivers over there really producing in the Warlands. I would give Callaway a shot, but obviously only if you're in desperation mode with not a lot of options, I would start him. But that fifth and final receiver I look to get on the wire this week is Gabriel Davis of the Buffalo Bills. So Davis in his second year here, he's starting to peak and get things going and be a favorite target now 
for Josh Allen in this Bill offense. And now with Cole Beasley on the protocol list, he's going to miss at least a game or two here. Davis is going to have more value, and he's going to be a huge pickup in my opinion. Right now, Davis, he's available widely in 81% of fantasy leagues here. So the last few games here for Gabriel Davis, week 13 versus New England in that ball game, two catches, 30 yards, a touchdown. Week 14 at Tampa, five catches, 43 yards, and a touchdown. And week 15 here versus Carolina, five catches, 85 yards, and two touchdowns. So him and Josh Allen, like I mentioned, they got a good rapport going. This is a big kid, a big target, especially in the red zone at 6'4", 6'5". And I know this week he's got a tough matchup in New England who gives up the least amount of fantasy points to wide receivers on the season. But right here, I think Gabriel Davis could go out there and put up numbers. And right now, he's going to get more of a playing role, like I mentioned, with Beasley out at least the next game or two here. And I know it's a tough matchup. I still will go out there and get him on the wire. He's in a good offense. He's got a good quarterback. And he's been making plays here. So that's a few wide receivers I look to get here on the waiver wire for Week 16 of the fantasy football season.